So let's talk about the importance of vitamin D for your immunity. Um, as we all know, vitamin D is something we, we generally call the sunshine vitamin because it is produced in your skin by the interaction of UV light from the sunshine and cholesterol. And it plays a ton of really, really important uh, benefits, uh, important roles in your health within your body from everything from absorption of calcium to your bone health, uh, your hormonal health. Uh, it plays roles in having a, a good and happy mood, um, but we, what we want to talk about specifically right now is the role that it plays in immunity. And vitamin D, I believe, is the single most important nutrient for your immune system. Um, it factors into nearly every function of your immune system, and one that I want to talk about in real particular right now is its role in the health and the number of your T cells. So T cells within your immunity play a super vital role of actually moderating the response of your immune system to different things that, that are uh, maybe invaders or may not in your body. And it's important that your body know the difference between healthy tissues, between self as we call it, and between things that may be invaders and may not be welcome in your body. And that function in the immune system is filled by your T cells. Um, vitamin D is absolutely vital and essential for the proper number and the proper function of your T cells. So because of this, vitamin D is a really unique nutrient that it can um, help to make sure that your immune system has a strong enough response so that if you do come across bacteria, viruses, yeast, um, your immune system is going to respond properly to those as something that shouldn't be in your body and activate all the potent kind of killer cells and whatnot in your immune system to get rid of those. But also vitamin D, by making sure we have healthy T cell function, is making sure that your immune system doesn't improperly respond to self. Um, what we most commonly call that, it was autoimmunity, where you're getting an immune response that is improper to matters of yourself, to your own tissues. And T cells are vital in knowing what's you and shouldn't be responded to, and knowing what is an invader and should be responded to, and vitamin D is the most important nutrient for making those are on point. So it becomes really important that we have proper levels of vitamin D in the fall, in the winter, moving into cold and flu season. And as I said, vitamin D is made from the interaction of UV light from sunlight and cholesterol on your skin. So going into cold and flu season, one of the main reasons it is cold and flu season is that we're not getting that exposure to, to sunlight. Um, it's colder outside, the sun's at a little different angle, and we don't get nearly as much as, of, of that UV light to help build vitamin D. So it's important to focus on the other ways of, of getting vitamin D into your system. Um, whether it's summer, whether it's winter, we want you to include vitamin D rich foods. Um, things like eggs, things like uh, you know wild Alaskan salmon. Um, those are all really great foods and healthy in a lot of ways. They have vitamin D, but the problem is they don't have near enough vitamin D. We're looking for you to have a healthy intake up around 5,000 international units of vitamin D, and those foods have, an, an egg has about 30 IUs of vitamin D. A good serving of salmon has about 250 IUs of vitamin D. So you need to be getting more. Um, when you can't supplement with sunlight, the way to do that is with a good, healthy vitamin D supplement. So that's why we recommend the, the Melisse uh, vitamin D3, which is the proper form for usable, bioavailable vitamin D in your body. Um, and you can tailor it to whatever intake you want. Uh, I myself always recommend about 5,000 IUs, um, and that is what is really going to be the sweet spot for making sure that your immunity is on point this year, that your vitamin D being too low isn't going to affect your likelihood of getting a cold. <clears throat> An interesting thing with that is when we look at issues of immunity, people who get infections, typically those who have a high enough level, uh, blood level of vitamin D don't get the same infections as everybody else. Uh, those who have a high enough blood level of vitamin D don't have the likelihood of developing autoimmunity. So this is one of the easy and inexpensive moves you can make to really prime your immune system and make sure it'll be here for you this fall, keep you out of the doctor's office.